Zero FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Elinco DJX100. Now, this is the Japanese model, but I am translating using Google Lens. Okay, so we just press the set button first, give it a chance to translate. So, you can see as soon as we press set, we've got display mode here underneath antenna, beneath that message log scan on the right hand side. We've got skip, audio, display, and position distance there. The bottom buttons are showing us decision, return, and choice. And I've noticed that if you go, see the two, the eight, the six, and the four, they're actually acting as navigation buttons as well. Which I think is quite interesting. Now it's, it's given us these shortcuts, set, money, squelch, and dial. So if I just press number one now, it just acts as a back button. You see that? Let's go back in to set. I mean, it, it is vast. Let's go into display. So we'll go up one. And then we'll go set. Okay, so we've got backlight timer going down, lighting screen brightness. It's a nice looking screen here, you can change colours. Off screen brightness, what's that bottom one? External power supply always on. Let's go back, Just use the one, takes you right out. Let's do mode, press mode. You've got analog at the top. Digital. Data and return. Let's go back. Let's go back into set. It's very clever how it translates, isn't it? Let's go into location, like so. And then you get a whole new menu here. And you can choose GPS, you can turn it off, you can choose fixed location. And then you've got return. We're looking at now GPS, that's your settings for your longitude and latitude, molar distance display and location distance. To go back, you just press the let's call it the PTT button, the side button here. It's going to go into display mode, go up one and then set. It says location represent, GPS represent. Back to return. Let's just do GPS represent. Wow. Okay. You found how to see the GPS. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I know it's bright. But yeah, a lot of uh, information there indeed. Time. Showing a frequency there. Lots of satellites. Wow. Okay. Let's hit the P the this button here. It's not letting me go back that way. Let's um remember we've got the navigation up and down low. You can type something in. You can type in a frequency actually. So we're sort of like it's like a display with um, with GPS. So let's um, try and type it in. So we'll go four three four dot five five zero. Set. That's my my local node. Let's see if I can 
pick that up. There it is. So it's a very unusual device and the fact that it yeah, picks up C4 FM, D-Star and DMR is pretty cool. See if I get my hotspot in there. So my hotspot is turning it down which is booting up at the moment made by Carl DB Mega. So we're going to go 431.550 set. And you use the set button a lot on this device. So I put that in. We'll just let it boot up a minute. And with a bit of luck, we might get some activity on Talk Group 91. Nothing yet, but I really do believe that this, this scanner, receiver, whichever you want to call it, is going to be a big hit. I'll tell you why. Because, of course, it receives VHF, UHF. D Star, DMR, Fusion, apparently D DPMR, AIS, Airband, Marineband. But it's, there it goes, it's really lightweight. We probably have to select the mode there. So we'll do that now. It's really lightweight. It's like, if you look at the, the DV10, it's it's a brick compared to this. The screen looks amazing It's and it's enjoyable to use. So let's just go mode, like so. Let it convert. So we'll go up, digital, and then we'll go set. We don't want whatever that one is, T98. We want DMR, set, and there it goes. And we're listening to DMR. Yeah, cheers, Kevin. Well, I think Steve was, uh, although he's a bit late to the party, Steve was trying to come in there as well. That will be very briefly, but I got all of that. Yeah, well, it's funny because our son... Alfie, he's eight. He's only ever been to the UK a couple of times to visit. So you've got your, sim your G country GPS country showing information there, DMR. <laughs> anyway, morning, Steve. I am this. So this is at your GPS view. Of, uh, we have had a little bit of um, erasable pen talk. But, um, yeah, I was just saying I didn't start work till about lunchtime yesterday, so... That, that hotspot's made by Carl at DV Mega. I can't hang around, but good morning, Steve. Anyway, G4 MUV, SA3 DSM. And I could put up, turn on my... Let me think now. Let's see if I've got it here. I've got my Fusion hotspot here. I'll plonk it in front. So this is C4 FM now. I have to change the frequency, so which is 4, 3, 8... Dot five two five and then set. So that's fusion. Ah, oh, there's no one speaking at the moment, which is a shame. But if they did, then we'd hear them. And I've already tested it, and it definitely works. Uh, I just need someone to call. I wonder what I'm connected to. Possibly Hubnet. So if I'm connected to Hubnet, I might be able to just um, make that come to life. But on my using my analog radio. See if I can find one. <laughs> Too many radios here. Just realised I've got to change it. Because there is a signal there. I've got to change it to fusion. So you go mode. Set. This time we're going to go to C4FM. Top right. Set. There you go. We're now listening to fusion. Yeah, for a final SA three D S X. Yeah, you you mentioned that, uh, the uh, the other products yesterday, Steve, that, that go in the microwave. Well, believe it or not, we didn't have a microwave, but, but we had we got one of these sort of inbuilt ones, which is sort of half microwave, half um, fan oven, 
and it sounds fine. When you think about the footprint of this device, it's it's not big. But we did buy an air fryer. It's not big at all. But it covers all these bands. It, it, it can be modified to get CB. I've seen. You can change the backlight. You can change the color of the text. So you're changing two colors. Probably would have been safer than me using a blowtorch yesterday. Although, as you Let's just go back into the menu. Look at a couple more settings. Then we'll end the video. Leave it in the background. That's Darren. Daryl on a hubnet. Let's go set. Well, that's saying message there. We did display. And remember, you can navigate with the two, eight, six, and four. We'll go into message set. Maybe let's try a different one. Let's go to antenna because we don't actually know what antenna does. If we move to the just set. And then we've got display, skip, antenna. What does that do? Set. I need to look at the actual manual, don't I? Display audio antenna. Hmm, not really sure what that does. Skip. Let's do audio. Another new menu there. And that's saying beep sound, radio volume reduction, some sort of noise reduction, uh, volume constant at the bottom. What's that other one? I need to get my glasses on. Explore. What's that say? It's very hard for me to read with my glasses. Clever how it translates. Deformation phone operation, radio volume reduction, beep sound, middle, volume constant. Wonder what that means, volume constant. Let's just go back. With the this button here. Back again. We're still in GPS display mode, and look, there's no satellites now. Set. Let's go back to display a minute. Set. We've got different modes location, represent, and basic. So let's do location. Isn't that the one we did? Oh, look at that. So what's this? This is a new image. So it's just a different version. You, you've got arrows that you can move up and down as well here. With different selections. Yeah, not really. It's not a touchscreen device. Okay. Interesting. Back out with the. Let's see if it scans in this window. Well, probably because someone's speaking, it won't now. I think it does, yeah. So you've still got full scanning in your GPS windows. Like so. Onto VFO memory. Yeah, VFO memory working and changing your steps. That bit's quite straightforward. Step button. And then mode. I notice it does say mode and configuration. So one, two. 
mode when you press it once to let's leave, press it once just let it translate what that is oh yeah analog and data okay and back let's go all the way back and we'll go to set now I think that's enough for this video. I'm going to keep tinkering and, um, yeah, having fun, learning. Sorry it's in Japanese, but Google Lens is helping me. And I just need to spend a lot more time with it. It's obvious that it's a good receiver and it's working. It's, it's I think it's a good device, yeah? Price-wise, mm, you know, I think you're going to be looking at over £700 for this device. It's a receiver. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll be better. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. All the best.